right, food time. This weekend marks the beginning of the Lunar New Year, a week of fun and food sure to kick 2023 into high gear. And where better to kick off the festivities than here in the kitchen with Asian Market's own Eva Powell. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. You. Now, this is um, a very important time of year. It is. Really, in Southeast Asia. But um, to celebrate... We're doing something a little bit different this morning. We are. So we're going to be doing a rice cake and mushroom stir fry. So there's a reason for the rice cake, okay? So rice cake is not your normal, like, the puffed rice okay. kind of cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to explain it because it looks like this, okay? So there's a chilled version of it that's already cooked, but this is the one I like to use because it's like thinner slices. So it's made from rice flour and water, and then it's kind of, it's in a dry form, a bit like pasta, I guess. Oh, of course. Right. But what, right. uh, what, what you need to do is kind of rehydrate it in some water, like soak it in the water, Water for like 30 minutes or even overnight. Yeah. And then okay. you kind of come up with something like this. Which and is, is that is the texture of that? Is it kind it's of kind wet? Of chewy. Chewy, okay. Yeah. And there's a reason why we eat it during this time of year because rice cake in Chinese is nian gao, which means that like every year you're progressing. So you're growing. Okay. So that's why the more you eat, I guess, the more you grow. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Then... So, so, so of us are, are, are watching how we grow at this time of year. <laughs> I'm not looking at you, I'm looking, not, looking not, at not me. This way, right? I do way too Go much after way. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, grow that way, not this way. Yeah. Okay, all right. So another really key ingredient are, uh, is the mushroom. So the mushroom, this is like a, uh, it's a dried shiitake mushroom. So you need to soak it overnight and then you take out the stem and then I've actually just quick like chopped them into like little slices. Yeah. So it really adds, you're going to taste it later and it, it really adds that lovely flavour to it. Okay. So I, I'm going to mix the sauce first. So in my bowl, here I have some oyster sauce then I'm just going to add some soy sauce uh, dark soy so it's really simple everything that you should have in your cupboard uh, some sugar stage, yeah. uh, a little bit of salt and then some white pepper and some shouting cooking wine and what sort of is that? What sort of um, sauce is that? It's say? just um, so I want to make up a sauce, and then once we put all the ingredients into the stir fry pan, you can just pour the sauce over mm. because the rice cake will need to kind of steam cook for a while. Mm. So I want it to have a bit of like okay. flavour. Mm -hmm. right. So into the pan, a bit of oil, and then some garlic. How much garlic do we need to use? It's about it? two cloves of chopped garlic there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Not too much. For this time we can of year. add more if you want. Yeah. Colds and flus. Taste it, yeah. yeah. And then I'm just going to go in with all the veg. So I have some Chinese leaf that I've chopped up. So that's going to go in. Mm -hmm. And then I have some choy sum, which is some Chinese veg that I've just kind of chopped up as well into little pieces. So you just roughly chop that yeah. sort of stuff and that you don't want it too small. So just, you can use any kind of veg yeah. you like, but... Um, and then I have some shiitake, uh, shimeji brown mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add those in. So there's a couple of different types of mushrooms in this. Yeah, project. just to kind of add that flavour into it. Um, hope you like mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I love mushrooms. <laughs> I love mushrooms. I'm yeah. just thinking. Yeah. And, and it's a good meat substitute yeah. as well. And the flavours are gorgeous, the woodsy kind of flavour you get from it. What's that now? This one is some fresh bamboo shoots. So you know you can oh, get them. Yes. You, you get the canned get, ones. Yes, yeah. but actually you can buy. We have ones that are in the chiller, and they're a bit like you know the vac-packed cooked beetroot. Yeah. There's the vac-packed yeah. cooked bamboo shoot. Oh, All really? right. Yeah, yeah. So it's really it has a really nice flavour to it, and it's just different because like the ones you get in the tin, they're all the same shape, and you know. And so this one's they're actually a bit bland. yeah. So this one's really nice. So once we have that in, I'm just going to add the rice cake. So this is the rice cake that we need to rehydrate, basically, or yeah, in some kind sort of, of way, kind of get yeah, the flavour soaking. I like this dried one just because it's kind of thinner slices. But you can also get ones a bit like the pasta that's pre-cooked and put into the chiller. You can get that where you yeah. can just dump it in. And, okay. okay. But, so I'm just going to add the rice cake in and then just pour the sauce over. Oh, one thing to add into the sauce is, um, so the mushroom that I soaked, the liquor that I used to soak the mushrooms, yeah. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and to add into the sauce. Okay, oh, and so what is just, that? So do you know, um, so when you're soaking the mushrooms, yeah. I save the liquor Okay, but well, what's the liquor? The, well, the mushroom, it's the mushroom the juice. Mushroom oh, it's mushroom juice. juice. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought, so I thought, I thought it was water. booze. No, <laughs> no, no. no I don't think we have um, booze in the surface. Some other, who knows? Well, who knows? So yeah. add that in for more flavour, and then I'm just going to pour the sauce into this and cover it up. All right. 
Okay, so and that's, that's going to just simmer away for how long? Simmer away for two to three minutes. Okay, while so. it's simmering away, why is that fella waving at me all the time? <laughs> this one. So yeah. the, the reason why it waves is to wave in like prosperity and good luck for the new year. So a lot of businesses actually like to put it in the front where okay. they have, you know, so that it's waving in good business and a lot more business for the new yeah. year. So okay. break, show me the money, basically. So it's basically. kind of like, it's a lucky, lucky cat. Okay, yeah. the one behind it looks as if it's on a work to rule. <laughs> it's it, it, kind of it's a not little moving bit, very much. It's slow, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so tell us about the, the Lunar New Year then and what it means. Yeah, well, the Lunar Year, it's just, uh, so this year is the year of the rabbit. So it's uh, symbolising peace and longevity. So it's going to be a really good year. Mm -hmm. And we are... We have, we're celebrating it uh, with a lot of events. Uh, so this is starting this Sunday on the 22nd. We will have an event in store called uh, Flash in the Pan. So it's going to be talking about East Southeast Asian uh, trends and Ali Dunworth is going to be hosting it. And it's going to be uh, starting in store at 12 o'clock. It's free booking. There's no, there's no need to buy tickets to okay. it. And then we're continuing the festivities on the 29th, the following Sunday, and it's going to be all family friendly um, events. So there is an Alice in Wonderland inspired uh, Chinese tea party. Oh, fabulous. Lovely. So That's you can buy tickets for that idea. online. And then, but we, in store, we actually have like free food tasting and there's going to be origami, face painting. And we're working with uh, city partners to actually bring the festival to be a lot bigger. So there's going to be um, stalls and music and dance on Drury Street, Capel Street, Meeting House Square. But the main thing is there's going to be a 10 meter long dragon that's going to be wow. on the street and moving around the city. So it's going to start at 12 uh, to 5 and it's going to start on Drury Street. So walk around the city and you'll be noticed a lovely dragon. Wow. Okay. Um, but we also have um, a restaurant takeover with Chimak, the really nice uh, Korean fried chicken restaurant. I'm working with uh, Richie from La Bahia Philippine Food and Gareth from Chimak, who's chef and owner, and Karen Smith, who is the pastry chef. And they're all going to come up with a one night only kind of a special menu for the Lunar New Year Festival. And if you want to celebrate at home, we also have a cocktail kit uh, inspired and created by the Gastro Gaze. And then a uh, Taste the Trends box. That's okay. lovely. That so fantastic. a lot of information a lot going, on. going on. But okay. all the information can be found on our website, so asianmarket.ie. Yeah. OK, it's the Lunar New Year, and I didn't know this until today. I don't think you knew it either. No. If you follow the lunar candle uh, calendar, <laughs> your birthday... <laughs> Well, you can you follow the candle as well. Uh, but the calendar, your birthday moves. Is this true? It is. So the thing is, the lunar calendar is, is following the moon. So yeah. it, it falls, it's a different kind of a calendar to our normal calendar. Yeah. So that's why if if you follow your lunar new year calendar day, it's going to be... Right, we'll plate some of this up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to move from year to year. Yeah. Let's go. Shall I... Oh, here so we I'm go. Just gonna... So how are we doing? Is it all cooked and lovely? I'm really uh, interesting to, to taste this rice cake. I've never, I never actually knew rice cakes like that existed. Well, it's it, it's different to the rice cake that we're used to. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not the... puffy and crispy. Yeah. But you see, right. it's actually used a lot in different kind of cultures. So, mm -hmm. like in, um, much. we can share, you can share this, Martin. There, you can we'll give it a taste, go. taste will. it there. Okay. Um, now. I sure. I you have took my in, mushroom. Let us know what you think. I'll tuck in in a sec. Um, full oh, recipe, by the way. Lovely. All the details are on our website. Or as always, you can find uh, more from Eva at her website, asiamarket.ie. No, I'm there now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, spilled it everywhere. Now, next, we cross back to Katia and Blanche is down for another hit of fashion. Do stay with us.